Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find the number of ways to reach the nth staircase by taking one, two, or three steps at any point of time. So here is the problem: a child is running up a staircase with n steps and can hop one, two, or three steps at a time. We need to find the possible number of cases the child can run up. So let's start by an example. For n equal to one, that is just one staircase, the number of possible cases is one, and that will be the child takes one step to reach up. For n equal to two, he could either take two steps of one each, or can take one step of two. So that means the total number of ways equal to two. For three steps. He could either take three steps of one each, or can take one step of one and the other one of two, or he could just take one step of three. So the total number of cases in this case becomes four. Finally, in case when n equal to four, the output will be seven by just counting all the possible cases that are shown here. We'll come back to this example a little later. It it clearly looks like a recursive problem. Here's one solution for the same. So if we hop one step, then we'll be left with n minus one steps. If we hop two, then we will be left with n minus two steps. For a hop of three, n minus three steps will be left. At any moment of time, we can hop one, two, or three. So we need to recur for all these three till we reach the nth step. Explaining the with the help of tree, so back to the case of four, when the number of steps are four, so we could either take a hop of one, two, or three. If we take a hop of three, we are left with one, for which the output is one, since there is only one way to climb a stair, where having one step. If we have two. If we take a step of two, we'll be left with two steps, and the output for this will be two. If we hop one, then we will be left with three steps, and we can again either take one, two, or three steps. The total number of ways will be the sum of leaf nodes of this tree, as in this case we already know it will be seven. Here's the implementation of this problem. For n e n equal to zero, one and two are the base cases, and the rest can be found using the simple recursion we already discussed. The time complexity for this problem is exponential, since it is a Fibonacci type tree, so uh, which is pretty high. So here's a dynamic programming solution to this problem, in which we create an array and we store values. Of zero, one, and two, and using a for loop, we fill the rest of the array. In the end, we shall return the last element. So we basically saved ourselves from calling the recursion over and over again, and just stored the values that we need. The time complexity of DP solution is O of n. So this brings us to the end of this video tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments in the comment section.